here from Hobby Quest, and today we're going to be doing the Aviation Paper Project. So we're going to start off with a really fun project, and this is the paper helicopters. There's three of them as such. These are really fun to do, and they fly as such. And here you go. Now, for all of these projects, what you're going to need is a glue stick, a scissors, and some clear scotch tape. Now, we're going to first start off with our instruction sheet. We're going to keep it on our right side, our left side, whichever one is better for you. That way it can guide us through these projects. It's really important to have these instruction sheets because it can help us refer the blueprint onto the instruction sheet. So we're going to start off with this first page and you're going to cut out along all the dark black lines and you're going to cut out one, two, and three. And do not cut on the dotted lines. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut along the lines. Now, one thing to remember is this project is really fun and it will always require some design. So take your markers, colored pencils, crayons, and feel free to color in each of these different helicopters. paper helicopters that I've cut out on the black lines. Now, you also want to cut on these lines here and here, as well as down the middle. So I'll be doing that for all three of these. So now we have our three helicopters and what I'm going to do is refer to my instruction sheet. So it says first cut on solid black lines, which we did, and then we have to fold on these dashed lines. So according to the diagram, we have portion A, portion B, and portion C. Now we're going to fold on A as such, the dotted line. Next we're going to fold again. And then we're going to fold up as C. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fold each propeller outwards, one this way towards me and one away from me. This is our first helicopter and we're going to do the same thing with the second one. Fold on A, fold on B, so these are the dotted lines. Now it's really important that things are symmetrical otherwise they won't fly as well as they should. As you can imagine no one ever really flew on a plane that wasn't symmetrical or had not symmetrical wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my propellers now. And these are really fun projects to do because you can see that they're each different sizes and you can evaluate and experiment with these planes as to how they fly and which one flies faster or which one twirls more. Now, you can have a paper clip. It's optional but not needed. But if you attach it to the bottom of the paper airplane as such, where part C is, it will help it fly faster to the ground. So you can see that in compared to the one without the paper clip. Hi, on behalf of everyone here at Hobby Quest, I really hope that you enjoyed this project. You can follow us via Facebook, Instagram, or simply sign up for our newsletter to be the first to know when we release new videos. You can also take a look at the Hobby Quest's online store for more project kits that you can complete at home. 
However, Hobby Quest is a lot more than just at home projects. We host hundreds of fun after school clubs all over the country. So, whether you're interested in building cool model airplanes or helicopters, baffling your friends and family with amazing magic tricks, learning how to take great pictures, or even how to design and create your own outfits and accessories, either way, Hobby Quest has a club to help guide you on your journey. Ask your parents to reach out to us to learn how to bring one of our clubs to your school or to a recreation center near you. Again, we hope you enjoyed this project and all of us here look forward to helping you on your hobby quest. Thank you.